Girl, your body good and you're special to me. Wanna make you my lady officially. Come your tickets for buy them. You know black people is lazy when they come from vacation like two weeks ago and their luggage is still right there. I need to go put that shit away. Oh my god, this is why I can never fucking record. Hey my slavey, so today I am doing a different video. It's not makeup related or, you know, any type of vlogs. But I am doing a video on my top favorite products for the month of September and October. So, and I want to share these products with you so you guys would have like an idea of my likes. And maybe you guys could go pick it up if you like. Hopefully you guys could go, you know, go to your local Sephora or Ulta and snag those things. Because those are my favorites. I wouldn't say you guys wrong. And I know you guys would be like, oh, you know what, since... She recommended it. Let me go get it. So yeah, these are my top. Yo, bro. Why? Oh my god. So the first product that I fell in love with was the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. At first, I started off with the um the pencil, the Anastasia pencil, and I loved it. And then I had the pomade. And when I started using the pomade, I was like, uh, I don't really like it because it's very creamy. I don't know how to work with this product. But what I did know is that a little goes a long way. One day I had ran out of my um, brow pencil from her and also from MAC. And this was the only thing left. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this. So I tried it and I absolutely fell in love with it. I haven't picked up another brow pencil yet, which I do need to go get anyways. Um, but I would definitely recommend getting this Anastasia Zip Brow Pomade. I got Ebony. I mainly got all of them because she sent me her products. So I got Ebony, Dark Brown, Chocolate. But I had mainly all the dip brows, so... I would definitely recommend getting your hands on this. It is worth the 20 bucks. I believe it's 20 bucks or 18 dollars. It is worth it and I would not let you, I would not steer you guys wrong. I actually did my eyebrows with it today and they came out pretty damn good. So definitely get your hands on this. I would tell you a little goes a long way. So don't go and cake on your brows because it's gonna look hella thick and you're gonna look crazy. So don't even, mm -mm, don't even bother. Next product that is part of my September favorites is the Lancome Tent Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. This is in the shade 540 Suede Warm. And I freaking love this. I do not have it on today. I have the Maybelline on, the Maybelline Fit Me. Oh, I should add that too. So yeah, both of these, these are my absolute favorite. Um, I don't know what took me so long to get this. Like I should have been, uh, got this damn foundation. Like this foundation is amazing. Maybelline had the one for dewy skin and the one for matte. If you want it matte, if you want your face matte, then you'll get the matte and poreless. And if you want your face more dewy, then you'll get the dewy and smooth one, the dewy and smooth finish. I love this. I love this. I love this. This is in shade 360 Mocha, Ultimate Holy Grail. This one is really on the pricey side. I believe this is about $37 or maybe $47. I'm not too sure. Bitch, but this is Bitch, this is amazing. It's like I freaking love this. It's super lightweight. It looks like skin. Absolutely flawless. You wouldn't go wrong. Um, you can build it up to your coverage. I actually use just one layer because I feel like I don't need all of that makeup on my face. So I just use one layer. You can add it to give you medium to full coverage. But I think it works just fine. Once you put on the first layer, you're good to go. Don't need to kick anything on. So definitely this Lancome foundation. The next product is my Ultimate Holy Grail setting powder and is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I freaking love this powder. Some ladies find it... Some ladies find that it gives a ashy flashback because it is white. The powder is white. And I I personally don't get that type of um, result. I think it is amazing. Like, it's very lightweight. You can sweep it away. What I do personally, when I set it under my eyes, I actually use it today to set. This is the only part that I use to set. I set it under my eyes today and I swept it away with a, a powder that is similar to my skin tone. So it wouldn't give off that flashy effect. And um, I bake with it for about five to ten minutes. I try not to bake it for too long unless I'm going like 
to the club or an event because I know my skin gets very oily and my makeup starts to look very, um, it just looks crazy. So I sometimes bake with it, but other than that, I will leave it off for about five to 10 minutes and just sweep it away. Or I'll just sweep it away one, two, three, like right after I set my under eye. It all depends on how much you put it on your skin and if you are using it to bake very heavily. I wouldn't recommend baking if you're like my skin tone or somebody darker because you can get that ashy flash black. If you don't like this powder or if you want to try this powder, it is pretty expensive. But the banana, ben, the Ben Nye banana powder is also a good alternative. It is a yellow toned setting powder. It's not translucent, so it's not white. It's actually yellow. And the next product that I love, that I am falling in love with, is the Becca Champagne Pop. I know it came out a while ago, but I finally got my hands on it and I freaking love it. Like this champagne pop is everything. But mine's died. Like I had to have like a little burial. I lied. I would never bury this. But it broke. So what I have to do is do the whole alcohol trick. So I have yet to do it. But I'm type sad. But I still use it. Um, I actually have it on today. I kicked it on. So this is freaking amazing. I think it would look very, very gorgeous on a, a lighter skin person too. It looks very nice on me. Like it looks very nice and natural. It don't look ashy. But this will also look so beautiful on a lighter skin person. Definitely get your hands on this if you haven't already. The next product that I have that I am falling for. Not even lying. I fell for it. Um, is the Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm pretty sure those of you who are into makeup, that's like makeup artists, I know your shit looks like this, all dirty. But this is my freaking favorite palette from Anastasia, and these are the colors. My favorite colors is this side. Like, this whole side is my favorite colors. Like, especially the deep plum colors and the oranges and the browns and the nudes and the shimmers everything is so beautiful but i live for like dark tone shadows and smoky eyes and stuff like that like that's a me like that's a me girl mm, that's me you can definitely create a everyday look you could create a look to going out with your friends your homegirls out to the club dinner birthday you could do anything with this palette definitely you got a lot of transition shades you got a lot of crease colors you got a lot of shimmers pop of shimmers everything you got all of that so this palette is a must like i freaking love this palette it's a little dirty but that's the reason why i have it and that's the reason why i'm into makeup next product that i absolutely love is the tarte clay paint liner um this is pretty much a liner in a little tube like, where have you seen this at? I'm pretty sure they have it, but where else have you seen this? This is by Tarte. And this is the maddest black liner I have ever used. I am wearing it today. As you can see, I am wearing it today. And I absolutely love this liner. Like, it's amazeballs. I was using the Morphe Brushes Gel Pot Liner, but it dried out a little bit. I added a little bit of oil, but it's just sitting in my little makeup container. You know what I mean. But this is amazing. The only con that I don't really know about this is that I feel like I just bought it and it's almost done. Like, they barely feel this too. The next item is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. When I tell you this mascara is amazeballs, it is freaking amazeballs. Like, this will make you look like you have lashes. Like, I barely have any lashes and this shit gave me lashes. Like, bitch, lashes in a tube. Hello. And I am so in love with this. I actually bent the wand to adjust to my lashes. So this is how I bent it. It was more like this. Ooh, like this. So it was more like this to get my lashes like this. And to get it like down here. So I definitely bent it to adjust to my um, personal use. This was in a gift bag that I received when I went to an event and I was like, yo, this shit is bomb.com. Like, I am in love. I am in love. Definitely this freaking mascara is bomb. The last product that I am freaking head over heels for is the Morphe Brushes 350 palette. It's right here, 350. And I got this off of Morphe Brushes. It was $22, I believe. And this palette is freaking oh, oh. 
it's freaking wonderful like it's amazing it's a warm palette and it has a lot of browns a lot of shimmers a lot of transition shades this is actually my favorite shade as you can see i actually use this palette on my eyes today uh, i went for a more what can i call this look like an orange tangerine i don't fucking know but <laughs> this is the look that i did today and this is the palette I use. Like, this palette is amazing. You could create any single look. Countless amounts of look. I feel like I'm promoting this shit for you guys. Like, no way this is sponsored at all. None of this stuff in here is sponsored. But this palette, you have to get your hands on. You can create any look with this palette. I actually think it's so gorgeous. Like, they have a lot of shimmers. Brown, gold, pink burgundy copper then you got the transition shades it's so beautiful and it's so inexpensive and the pigment picks up hella good as you can see in my eyes the pigment picks up wonderful um that is all for now that is definitely all for now so if you guys really enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments let me know in the comments oh, let me know in the comments um I would definitely try to upload more videos frequently, but I'm trying to figure out what the hell to include on this channel. Like, my brain is just, like, dead. Like, I don't know what to include. So, definitely let me know. Definitely keep me posted. Definitely let me know. Because whatever you like, I like. <laughs> and we gonna do that like that. So, that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, 